All right, you want it, say so. Today we are going to do 1.5 angle relationships. Let's go ahead and uh, introduce some vocabulary terms for you guys. If you notice in the picture, there's basically two straight lines that intersect each other. So when they intersect each other, uh, a whole bunch of angles are formed. And so we're going to introduce some uh, vocabulary uh, based on those relationships that those angles have. First off, we have vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles that are opposite each other. Okay. Um, for example, angle one and angle three are opposite each other. One and three. Notice they're directly opposite of each other and so we call those vertical angles if you want to think about it um, vertical angles is like a v and so one and three are like v's that are um, the tips of the v's touch each other if you want to think about it that way and then obviously there are other examples of vertical angles in the picture because two and four are also across from each other so they are also vertical angles, but I didn't write, write um, all of them down. Linear pairs. All right, linear pairs are a pair of angles that make a straight line. If you think about the root word linear, the root word is line. So they're a pair of uh, angles that make a straight line. For example, angle one and angle two. If you take a look, here's angle one and here's angle two. Together, they make a straight line. And so that's why we call them linear pairs. Okay, and of course, there are other examples. So what other two make linear pairs? Angle two and angle three make linear pairs. Also, angle three with angle four make a line so they are a linear pair and then of course there's one more example angle four and angle one are a linear pair so just two angles that make a straight line adjacent angles all right adjacent is just a regular word that means right next to so angles that are right next to each other well, then your question is, well, is it adjacent angles the same thing as linear pair? Because if you notice, one and two are two angles that are right next to each other, but it also makes a straight line. All right, so you're right. Adjacent angles and linear pairs are often the same thing, but here's the one difference that they have. Um, in a linear pair, you have to make a straight line. Adjacent angles, even though they're right next to each other, they do not need to be, uh, they do not need to make a straight line. And in this picture that I give you, this way, um, they, there's no example that um, makes a straight line, so I'll just draw one right here. For example, here we have an angle, and here we have another angle. I'll change colors, maybe. Oh, that's a bad color. I'll use yellow. Notice the red angle and the yellow angle are right next to each other, but they don't make a straight line. So. These two are adjacent angles, but they are not a linear pair, all right? So hopefully you know the difference between linear and adjacent angles. Complementary, all right. This is when you have to remember back in Algebra 1 what complementary means. They do mean angles that add up to 90 degrees. All right, and in this picture, there's nothing that adds up to 90 degrees. So um, I don't have to draw another picture. It's basically 
and I have to draw in a little box too. All right. Oh, that is not the right picture. Just kidding. Here's an example. Here's one angle. And then I'll use a yellow one, just like last time. Here's another one. And if these two together make 90 degrees, then we call them complementary angles. All right? Uh, and then we have always complementary comes supplementary, and those are two angles that add up to 180, 180 degrees. For example, angle 1 and angle 2 add up to 180 degrees. Here's angle 1 and angle 2, um, they add up to 180, all right? Now you must be thinking, well, isn't supplementary angles the same thing as linear pair? Um, that is almost true. A linear pair, they have to be next to each other and they make a straight line. Supplementary angles don't have to be really next to each other. Um, you can have one angle here, and then you can have one angle here. And if I squish them together, they'll make a straight line. Um, so that what, that's what makes them a supplementary pair. Um, but they're not a linear pair because they're not already together. All right, but for the most part, linear pairs and supplementary angles are pretty much, um, they share the same property. All right, let's do an example. Uh, I give you some lines that are crossed and I give you one angle that's 20 degrees. You have to find all the other angles. All right, so um, the very first one that you can do is the one that's directly across from the 20 degrees. If you remember what that's called, that's the explain part. <clears throat> um, the one that's directly across from the 20 degrees is called a vertical angle and it's oh just kidding obviously the one with the box is 90 degrees that one came first but then the next one is 20 degrees because vertical pairs are always equal to each other so these two are always equal to each other all right the next one we want to find is maybe this one we know that if this is 90 degrees and the other half has to be 90 degrees. So if these two together make 90, and this part's already 20, you could figure out that that alone is 70. All right. <clears throat> and then we're not quite done because there's actually one more angle to find, and it's this one right here. And there's a few ways to do it, but the easiest way is this whole thing is called a linear pair and so when we have a linear pair it adds up to 180 so this missing one must be 160 so linear pairs oh and i forgot to tell you that this one was 70 because of complementary angles they had to add up to 90 degrees all right <clears throat> again let's do some algebra this one says solve for x and y it's not too bad. We start off by using these two, again, called vertical angles. They are equal to each other, so we're going to go ahead and set them equal to each other. 4x minus 7 is equal to x plus 8. Use your algebra skills. <clears throat> Bringing the x's to one side and the numbers to the other side. Divide, and you should get x equals 5. All right, from there we have to solve for y. And how do we do that? Your choice. You can plug the x into this x, or you can plug the x into this one. It should not matter. All right, I'm going to choose this one because it looks like it's less work. <clears throat> All right, plugging in that 5 right there, I get 5 plus 8 is 13. And then from there, 
if I know that this is 13, this whole thing, then I have to find this whole side. Now, we know that these two together make 180 because it's a straight line. And so to solve for y, you just do 180 minus 13. And I think that's 167 for y. Clearly, it's not drawn to scale with this one. So my apologies, but <clears throat> that's how you do it. Let's do an example with complementary angles. So this one, actually, I don't even give you a picture. You just have to know what complementary angles mean. <clears throat> Remember, complementary angles mean they add up to 90. All right, so if one angle is this, and the other angle is this, and they're supposed to be complementary, then they should add together to make 90. So there it is, 5x plus 8 added to x plus 4, and that should give you 90. Use your algebra skills. 6x plus 12 equals 90. Subtract 12 from both sides. Divide both sides by 6, and you should get 13. Not too bad. Let's do one for complementary angles. I mean, supplementary angles. If they're supplementary, that means they should add up to 180, so we're going to go ahead and do that. 3x plus x plus 8 should equal 180. Combine like terms, subtract the 8, divide by 4, and there you have it. x equals 43. Okay, I think that's all we have for today. Go ahead and start on your homework.